Oh, Maureen Stapleton. Oh, he said the magic name. Oh, oh my God. Maureen says hello and I cry. I don't, she's just, she has the most extraordinary, what, um, something she does that is just so utterly natural, so utterly present, so utterly spontaneous. Nothing ever seems planned with her. Maureen Stapleton was a member of the Actors Studio, so we used to chum out together. We were pals. And finally, she she was asked to audition for a, for a, a play. Which was the Tennessee Williams play. It was my first big job. And I was asked to audition for the same play. It was called The Rose Tattoo. I forget, we read endless amount of times anyway. She said, I, I, I was very impatient. I said, the hell with it. If they don't want me, that's it. Now I'm not going to read anymore. She said, yes, you will. You'll read again. And I read again and again and again. We read for it so many times. It felt like you'd already been playing it by the time you got the job. And both of us, by some stroke of luck, got the parts. We did it for a year and a half, and both of us won Tony's. Well, she's a work of art. Maureen is a work of art. I remember in Rose Tattoo when, when they brought her news that um, her husband was killed and she let out like what was like an animal cry and said, don't speak, don't speak. And I, I, I mean, it rings in my ear. It was, it was so true. It was as though it happened. And she was only 24, 23 or 24 years old when we did the Rose Tattoo. Yep. I used to say that Maureen was the only person I would be willing to risk exchanging talent with. That's a very self-serving remark. Well, Maureen Stapleton is probably one of the greatest actors this country's ever produced. I mean, I put her up there with Jason Robards, Colleen Dewhurst, Rosemary Harris. I mean, this is really great acting. When you see Maureen on a stage, even in a bad thing like Norman Is That You, Maureen's wonderful. There's, she never does bad work. And there's something about her, even when Maureen's doing nothing on a stage, there's something that she radiates, some magnetism. And that's great acting. I mean, it's something that's very, only God-given, I think. It comes, you know, you never really learn that. It's given to you as a gift. And it's a very painful gift, you know, because she, like, she wears her heart on her sleeve, literally, every night. The, her nerves are at the edges of her skin, you know, that she lives every moment. Margaret Leighton would never be be spoken to before she went on, and neither, neither did um, Barbara Bel Geddes. And you respected that. Um, Maureen was, was holding her dresser's hand, sit and hold her dresser's hand, and she was sick almost every night before she went on. Nerves. Maureen Stapleton in Airport. I'll never forget that performance as long. I was 14, and I thought, that is great acting. Two years later, I'd gotten to see Gin Game, and it was right after um, Maureen Stapleton and E.G. Marshall had replaced Jessica Tandy and Hume Cronin. And, and uh, I think it was literally her second night that I had seen. And, and practically the, a week later, in, in walks Maureen Stapleton. And she's sort of looking over the salads and the ice cream counter. And, and I said, oh, Miss Stapleton, I saw your second preview in Gin Game the other night, and you were magnificent. I remember her eyes sort of roll into the back of her head, and she said, it was a nightmare. And she sort of ran out of the store. And, uh, and years later, I, you know, I certainly understood exactly how she felt. Those nights where you're just, it's just a nightmare. But for me, sitting there, it was heaven. She was amazing. Well, she has these huge crushes on movie stars. You know, she loves movies. And I think her favorite thing in the world is Gone with the Wind. I don't know if she told you that. At the top of the stairs, when you go up to Maureen's apartment, there's this larger than life size, full length uh, photograph of Joel McRae. She was nuts about Joel McRae, probably still is. And then on the other wall, there's a, one of Clark Gable. <laughs> when did you know you wanted to be an actress? 
Well, very early on, I went to the movies all the time. And in those days, when you were under 12, it was 10 cents to go to the movies. I think I went virtually every day. Yeah. I lived in Lewiston. I really wanted to know Robert Taylor. That was the main reason. And I thought that was the way to get to Robert Taylor. <laughs> or Clark Abel. Dill McRae. They were my favorites. There are four things in every crossword. George Gershwin's brother. Yeah. The dog in The Thin Man. Well, do you know that name? I don't know that. Asta. A-S-T-A. That's a good crossword yeah. word. That's in every... T-A-E, middle initial, stands for... T-A-E? I'll give up. Thomas Alva Edison. Oh, of course. You're good. What's the fourth one? Oh! Entrance to a mine. I don't no, know. No, wait a minute. Don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Let me think. What is an addict? Yes! Oh, well! How the hell did you know that? I don't even know. Oh, my God, Faye! <laughs> <laughs> I just dug somewhere for it. Wow! It's. it's uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that. That. Uh, <laughs> I must have done one cost per Oh one. my <laughs> but puzzle God! Puzzle that had it. <laughs> How the hell did you know that? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm still in added shock. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen gathered friends. She was like the queen bee. You know, all all the bees gravitated toward Maureen. Uh, she was wonderful. Wonderful. God, I, I, I as a person, I adore. She's the Funniest woman, bawdiest woman. Uh, uh. Maureen Stapleton, I love and adore. Well, when she was doing the rose tattoo, I, I used to pick her up at the theater every night and we'd go out. And, and there was a place we were invited to and she came and it was raining and she had a raincoat on, and they said, let me take the raincoat, and took the raincoat off. And she had a kind of silk old bathrobe on, and nothing else, and nothing else. And her slippers, she had slippers, they're all wet from being in the rain. And there she was, and she got drunk and had a great time. She was a riot. God, she was funny. We did a musical uh, evening, late afternoon, at the hall in in Tanglewood, and Maureen uh, said, "Send in the clowns to a musical accompaniment." And when when she came, she she looked like a bag lady. No makeup, and her hair kind of just chopped off, and. And uh, she had like a 40s old cocktail dress with a sequined collar here, sequins around the sleeves, and her mucklocks, and no stockings. And I thought, she's going to walk out on the stage with the mucklock. Still no makeup, no, you know. <laughs> but she went out. And she stood behind a podium so they couldn't see the no stockings and the mucklocks. And she began the poem. It was so beautiful. You just fell apart. You just fell. Everybody was crying. It was glorious. She's the best of the best. And she's so beautiful and so she's a magnificent actress.